Next at 10, a Lake Mills man is calling for action over what he calls an unfair process to gain a lifetime piece of his hometown. Leah Lynchide reports. We have tremendous amenities. Year-round residents of Wisconsin, we know what we signed up for, and we make the best of it. Our downtown is historic. Lake Mills might be the model for that mindset. We have our our wonderful lake, Rock Lake here. No matter the weather, frozen or flowing, residents are always out on the water. It's such a tremendous benefit. It's almost priceless to people here. Neil Shade lives in Lake Mills 12 months a year for 15 years now. That's also how long he's been trying to get himself a lifetime location on Rock Lake. They actually chuckle a little and say that you'll get Packers tickets before you get a boat slip. He signed up for one of 25 coveted community boat slips back in 2007. The wait list, 100 people or more. The timeline, maybe 20 years. For 25 folks to have this benefit, um, for a lifetime, I, I found that it wasn't very fair. And of those 25 folks, Neil says only nine are full-time Lake Mills residents. Most own vacation property at the nearby Sandy Beach Trailer Park. There's even uh, one or two with a Florida address. There are three criteria someone must meet in order to qualify for a lease for the boat lift. We did some fishing on how this whole process works. Turns out you don't need to be a full-time resident to get a boat slip. You basically just have to own property in town from May 15th through October 1st. We asked city management if that's fair. We've been using what's the fairest for the place that we have and what we've been doing, but could you say that it's absolutely fair? Probably not, but then how many things in life are? Over the past, well, it's, it's almost two years now, um, it's kind of been hot potatoed around in the parks board. Um, it's been on their agenda, it's been off of their agenda. Neil's been asking for change from the city. The idea of maybe a lottery system has been discussed, all sorts of different aspects have been discussed by parks board. The Parks Board is in charge of recommendations, then City Council could sign off. So far, no suggestion has made it very far. Is there something remarkable that'll make a change, make it worthwhile changing? And I don't see it, so I'm saying that it's probably 60% chance that it's going to stay as is. I think that it is a very large missed opportunity and it is a great injustice. At least one year-round Wisconsinite won't stop asking for a solution. The city manages these slips. The city residents should have that benefit. In Lake Mills, I'm Leah Lynchide for News 3 Now. Boat slip renewal contracts are due on Friday, and we actually talked with Neil this weekend, and he says that the Parks Board has met twice in the last few weeks with no new changes or rules. As always, if you have any consumer issue or complaint and you need help, visit channel3000.com slash call for action.